Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. After I created my Chaotic Chatter Mixed Media Collage on the last page of this journal, I went back through to see if every page is completed, and it is. I don't know about you, but I get a sense of accomplishment when I finish a journal or sketchbook. I thought it'd be fun to film a tour of this journal so I can talk about each collage. I will also post a music only tour video if you want to watch one that doesn't have any narration. That one should be up soon. So let's get started. This is only the title page and I like putting these in my journal so I know the date I started and the date I completed the journal. I actually marked out the days because I'm not sure exactly what day I started in May of 2021. But I know that I ended it in June 30th of 2022, but I marked that day out as well, just to be consistent. Going forward, I'm just going to put the month and the year. That's all I really need. This is the first collage I created in this journal. It was fun and a bit challenging to create in this new larger size and format. This collage has a combination of artist-made papers, altered papers, and commercial printed papers. Creating this collage was outside my comfort zone. If you use multiple layers of torn papers, if it's not done thoughtfully, it can be a mess. This is why I like creating in an art journal. It gives me permission to play. I usually don't title my collages that reside in art journals. If I did, I would give this one kitchen sink for obvious reasons. Another multi-layer collage, and it has painted papers, monoprinted papers, and lined papers with notes. It's a fun off-center focal point collage using straight edge and torn papers. This collage reminds me of a textile design with its all-over pattern. Stepped outside my usual color palette for this collage. It's a nice muted collage with a pop of yellow. The large green and mustardy yellow paper was created by wiping off excess paint from a brayer when I was printing. I love the texture and the pattern, so I decided to use that whole piece as the focal point. And there's also part of the paper in the upper corner there. This collage was created in my comfort zone at the time, and I believe it was June, yes, yeah, June 2021. I used a lot of cool toned colors and a mix of scrib scribbles on papers and also a security envelope text up here in the corner. And of course, all straight edge, because that's what I was doing mostly back then. This is the first collage that I used, altered bleeding tissue paper, and this is the fuchsia up here. I love the textures and the colors in it. I also like the diagonal collage layout. I don't do that enough. I should try that more often. Another collage using bleeding tissue paper, and this is the blue right here. And actually I started with one layer. This is actually two layers because there wasn't enough contrast between the focal point, which is the blue, and the paper around it. In this collage, I challenged myself by limiting my color palette to only orange and green. The bright green here is bleeding tissue paper, which I started to use more in my collages. And also this dark forest green, it reads black, but it's actually dark green. I like the contrast, which is good. And I like challenging myself by limiting my color palette. Another bright collage incorporating bleeding tissue paper. This was another challenge collage for myself. I used a group of paper scraps that I blindly grabbed from my stash. I love the color of the bleeding tissue paper in this area here. You can see it has orange and the green and it's not muddy looking. This collage has scraps from an old encyclopedia, blue inner office folder, of course bleeding tissue paper and monoprinted paper. Definitely another kitchen sink collage. 
I love all the bright and jeweled tone colors in this collage and of course more bleeding tissue paper over in this area. I love the contrast of the large blue tone bleeding tissue paper focal point against the warmer ephemera around it. I think it worked very well. This is the first time I, I painted the ground and collaged on top of it. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. This has a good contrast between the straight edge of the collage pieces versus the abstract designs on the papers. These two papers were created by cleaning off the jelly plate. I love the texture and the color variations in them. I still have some of the scraps in my stash that I'm holding on to. I want to try to recreate it. I'm not sure if I can recreate it exactly, but I want to get that feel of how it has the light blue and then some of this kind of muted green and some gray and some red, pinky red. I didn't post this page on social media. I created it after a stressful day as a way to release that negative energy. So you have the real scribbles and then the word happy. Fun collage, nothing else to say. It's just a fun collage. This one as well. Very fun, bright colors. Started using more muted colors in my collages with this one. I like the way it turned out. And it also has more papers that were created by cleaning off my jelly plate. I love the contrast between the cool and the worn tone papers in this one. And this paper here, this pink and grayish green, was created again by cleaning off my jelly plate. Really love the textures and the colors. This collage was made recently, June of 2022, using papers given to me by a student. The ground was created though months ago as a way to unwind from my day. This is the first mixed media collage that I created in this style, and it was back in November of 2021. I have since created similar ones. I'm very drawn to this style and I'm continuing to explore in my art practice. This is another one that I don't think I posted on social media. I based this design loosely on the previous one. This one was created though in June of 2022. Like most of the collages in the sketchbook, I made a video that I posted on my YouTube channel where I created this one. I painted three separate pieces of paper, then I tore each one, then collaged on top of the page. I really like this technique. I'm gonna do it more often. This is another old collage. This was created in October of 2021, where I did mostly just straight edge collaging. I'm slowly moving away from this style of collage to more of that mixed media collage. This is another mixed media collage that I created this year, 2022. The pink focal point looks a bit heavy in my opinion. I still like it, but I can see where I should have made the pieces and maybe varied sizes of light, of large, medium, and small. Still happy with it. This collage was inspired by the three found ephemera that I picked up on my neighborhood walk. There's an absentee sheet, key stub, and a losing lottery ticket. I like challenging myself by using uncurated ephemera. The red Frida tissue paper was gifted to me by a friend, and it's another good challenge collage. Definitely outside my comfort zone. Another mixed media collage in my 2022 style. Another collage using the Frida tissue paper here, and also three found ephemera, which is there's a warning sticker here, a red ticket, and a VIP pass. This is another mixed media collage using papers that a student gave me. 
Even though I'm moving away from this style of collage, I'm happy with the way this one turned out. I love the contrast between the muted colors of the ground against the black, white, and gray focal point. Looking back on this mixed media collage, I wish I had added another painted element on the ground. It looks a bit plain, but that's a great thing about working in a journal. You can hash out ideas before working on a canvas or panel. I do like the pop of yellow. This one is similar to the previous one that it only has two painted colors in the ground, but I like this one better. I like the solid turquoise ground and the black swirls. It gives it movement, and I like any collage that has movement. This is another one that I didn't post on social media. I like the muted colors, but if I had to recreate it, I would keep the ground with the muted colors, but I'd use bright colors for the word dream. I think it would add good contrast and reinforce the theme. This is another mixed media collage using some papers given to me by a student. I love this area right in here, the papers that are ombre with the splatter. I'd like to try to recreate it. And finally, the last mixed media collage in this journal. Chaotic chatter was a term I coined when teaching art at a middle school. I have a YouTube video where I discuss this term in depth. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye now.